Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to we're gonna look at the propeller controller. Not all airplanes do have the propeller controller. For example if you look at the Cessna 152 and 172 they've got a fixed pitch propeller which means you can control the RPMs only by uh, using the throttle. In some other airplanes uh, like this one and which is the uh, Beechcraft uh, Caravan, if I'm correct. Let me double check. Yeah, the Grand Caravan Chesna. It has an option to, I would say, manipulate the RPM both using um, the throttle and this nice blue leveler, which is no, which is, as you can see, is used to um, control the RPM. So. What's the effect of that? Well, for that we need to go outside. So here we can see uh, the the aircraft, right, and the propeller. So let's go a little bit uh, closer to it. And currently you see it's, I would say, kind of well, vertical, right? So all of them are in a vertical position. But as you can see here, there's a way that we can move these pieces. And that's exactly what this thing does. So if we pull it forward completely, then you won't see much change here now because it's say going really fast but if we now go to full feather mode then you will see that they will almost go horizontally right so let's wait and if we now go in front you will see that instead of the Rotors standing normal, they will now also stand uh, mostly um, horizontally. And why do you want to use this functionality? Well, again, just like the mixture control, it's all for efficiency. So during takeoff, you need to set them not in the feather mode, but I would say once you're at the altitude, you can change uh, this setting to the feather mode. There's one key thing which you always need to do is that you first need to reduce throttle using the, uh, I would say, the leveler from the throttle before you're decreasing the RPM using the RPM control. If you don't do it, you will you could end up with I would say with an engine which uh, doesn't really like it, uh, and even worse, right, a uh, damaged engine completely. So let's go inside the aircraft and let's see what happens when you start the engine, right? So we're starting the engine and you will see it goes into maximum RPM mode. So 100%. Also, you can see that the fuel control is set to 100%, right? Because if we pull it too much back, it will uh, stop. And now it's almost, you can't see it anymore how, what the, uh, what I say, position is of those uh, uh, blades. And here in the center we've got the controls, right? So we can see the torque, uh, we can see the temperature, we can see the RPMs, and this will build up. We can see the pressure and the temperature of the oil, and we've got the fuel quantity in the left and right tank. So, all fine for now. So, let's, uh, I would say, take off. So let's uh, ink. Well, let's uh, first uh, do it a little bit differently. So we're gonna use the where's the pushback option, and then we're gonna say start the pushback. Right, officially we shouldn't have started the engines. I'm aware of that. I had some comments about it in the previous video. You should start the engines once you're ready to take off uh, and do not require uh, this because you can see what happens. <laughs> now the guy who's going to push us back drives into the propeller which is not really nice for him. Uh, there's also maybe an issue with the uh, uh, pushback truck right because it's almost going under the aircraft before it's pushing us back. Uh, it goes back to normal. So we're gonna go reverse. So 
Another well, thing which you need to keep in mind is that there's no traffic around you because now we're driving through the uh, food truck, which is also probably not what we want to do normally. This is good enough. And push back. In the meantime, we can test uh, the aircraft functionalities, right? It all works, so let's wait for the guy to move away. In the meantime, we're gonna be stop the or close the pushback option and then we're going to increase throttle a bit and drive to the runway so keep in mind that during the takeoff as already mentioned you need to go for max power which means you need to let's say push the blue leveler as much as possible to the front and once we're airborne you can re make efficiency and or even doing the climbing if you want uh, you can reduce the rpm first by uh, using the uh, i would say throttle before uh, changing the propeller controller i always keep doing it in that uh, i would say using uh, that order because else you can end up in nasty situations. So let's see how it works in, I would say, practically, right? There are a few things which you need to understand. If it's, I would say, moved all the way to the forward, then it's low pitch, high RPM, right? So then the RPMs are high. If you would say, pull it back almost, I would say, to zero, that's also known as the feather mode or feather then it will be um, high pitch low rpm uh, in most manuals of the aircraft it's uh, described when to use which mode and uh, what the recommended setting is doing for example climbing or takeoff so keep that in mind right so we're now gonna use i would say we're gonna kind of test some 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 things uh, but it's always recommended to have or to read the manual from the uh, from the aircraft and use the uh, methods defined in there uh, no smoke the rest of the lights is okay In the meantime, right, we can have a look at this uh, this piece, right? So you can see the uh, the torque. You can see the temperature is already it's now dropping a bit. RPM is fifteen hundred. There's not much wind, as you can see on the right side or on the left side. Sorry. Now it will be time to turn the aircraft. can be a challenge let's see <laughs> going a little bit over the grass Then we're ready for takeoff, right? So we did check the settings, right? So we did check if the, if we now would look at the uh, blue leveler. It has been set to maximum. Also, the uh, mixture control has been set to maximum. 
So that's all fine. We set our flaps, so we're ready for takeoff. But before doing that, we're gonna set an altitude and we're gonna set the altitude to uh, 2000 feet. We're gonna make sure that the altimeter is set correctly and gonna enable the flight director. And then it's time for takeoff. And you can see directly that the torque is going to maximum, right? So 24, 2500, RPM is 1900, as you can see. Hopefully you can't see it, but I will show you. Right, you can see in the center. Uh, in the meantime, we need to keep an eye on the runway. Also, and more airborne, as you can see. Can okay, reduce the flaps switch on the autopilot to make our life easier the uh, vertical speed mode right yes to increase our altitude and let's climb to 500 or to 2000 sorry and during this mode right you can see you, we need to keep an eye on this because if we're going too fast right you see that the rpms are now being red again and let me show you here they're being red again so we need to avoid that because if you're too long in that period it's not good for the engine of course uh, so we're climbing let's go to 700 feet per minute level off at uh, 2000 feet and then I will show you how you can use that nice blue button uh, which is here so don't use don't pull back this button first and then pull back the throttle no do the other way around first decrease the throttle and then reduce the propeller rpm control almost there right we're reaching uh, 1500 feet as we can see here see the 2000 is blinking which means that the altitude hold mode has taken it over right so once we're at 2000 it will level off you can see that the uh, speed or the in uh, say the climb rate decreases you can still see that the rpm is say a little bit high so once we're at 2000 we're gonna decrease throttle a bit So we decrease throttle a bit. As you can see, we're gonna decrease it. So the RPMs should then also come down, right? It happens now. But what if we now decrease the other button a little bit more, right? So 
let's go a little bit further then decrease oh. and you can see that based on this if we look very carefully we saw that the rpm drops right it's it's i would say it's kind of hard to see how much the uh i would say the blades have turned right so let, let's try one thing let's right we're now at altitude which is correct so let's try to decrease the uh, blades even more let's let's set, try to set them to uh oh this was mixture control so you need to be very careful i think it's a control f2 yeah so the control key and the f2 so the function key 2 you can use it to decrease uh the propeller control and you can hear that the rpms are going down right but we still are at the correct altitude if you want to go directly to feather mode you can do that by pressing uh, control the control key and uh, oh, sorry, f4 and if you want to go to full rpm you need to press control f1 if you want to do it slowly so slowly go to feather mode then press the f2 if you want to slowly increase press the control and the function 3 key so you can hear the difference right you can't almost see it here right but you hear that the engine let's say goes slower right so if we increase it again or if we decrease it really nice right so keep that in mind that you can use this functionality to reduce the fuel usage and also to reduce the rpm right because less rpm means that we're going to use less fuel so it's good for the fuel so it's good for the environment uh well that might be a discussion right because flying uh might not be good for the environment at all that might be a discussion uh, which we shouldn't have in this uh, case because we're using flight simulator, right? We're not really flying. Um, so few things which you shouldn't forget is always decrease power first before decreasing uh, this nice blue guy um, because else you damage the engine. If you want to, I would say, uh, not use too much fuel, then definitely use this blue one uh, because the blue one will help you you can even set it to negative not sure what the effect of that will be to be honest because uh, i thought that the control f4 was uh was the feather mode which is uh, the case so probably we should have land we should land and then have a look at how we can decrease it even further but you can see we're stable at 2000 feet and you can see uh, compared to let's say using the full rpm mode we decreased the speed massively right so let me do change it once again you can see it does save you roughly 400 right so now it's even white it's not green so that's good because this is how we would like to fly uh, in addition to that right you can use the uh, mixture control uh, mixture controls the uh, the red button um, we'll show it uh, in a few minutes that's here so you can also reduce the mixture control to optimize the mixture and also i would say to fly more efficient um so keep in mind if you want to know more about the mixture control there's another video on my channel where you can have a look at here ends this video i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments then feel free to use the comment box below the video and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then consider subscribing to my channel Thanks for watching and see you next time.